Hi guys, so we do have a Phil Collins update, that major romantic guy with all the love bombing. So we left him with the, why don't you answer me up? I'm at work at the moment, I said. Hope you are okay. I miss you so much. I was just thinking about you, Rose, 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 Rose. When you get back from work, let me know, okay? Kiss, 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 kiss. Please take care of yourself. And that's where we thought we had left it. But alas, no. So our friend has actually popped up back onto our chat. So, today, hi, I said, hello, why are you on here and not chat? I messaged you on chat, but you didn't respond. That's why I decided to message you here. Are you free now? Message me on chat. And at this point, I really thought, look, I can't do it anymore. All that terrible love bombing, all that poetry, I just couldn't do another day. So I'm sorry, I couldn't wait for the scam. You messaged hours ago, I said, and I was busy. I would like an explanation for something, please. And I posted this picture. I sent him the picture of him in Nigeria. WTF is this, I said, pretending to be outraged. This is why you won't call me, isn't it? Because you're a fake. No, that's the reason. I was busy. Cue the plan B sob story, I said. There always is one, and it's usually that they're poor or they're in school and both their parents are dead, and all it is, trust me, is just another ploy to get money out of you. This is a new Instagram private account. Maybe that's why my verified Instagram is controlled by my manager. I said, you're in Nigeria. You're not Phil. That's why. And I sent it again. Now tell me you're poor, young, no job, parents are dead, etc. I visited an orphanage home in Nigeria. Maybe that's why it's showing that way, said our very desperate and very disappointed scammer. I said, rubbish. If you're Phil, you're over 70, your parents are dead. You don't even know, do you? I told you, I hate liars more than anything. You know this. So you can call me now or go away and stop Googling Phil Collins. It's ridiculous. So he actually called me and I was actually sitting there playing a video game. So I, did, I didn't have a chance to record the bloody thing. And I'm annoyed because he showed his face and it wasn't very long. It was one minute and I just told him to go away. I'm not a liar, he says. I just wanted to get your attention. That's all. I said, really? So you are Phil Collins then, huh? Why are you affairs to show me your face? He asks, trying to turn it around on me. So it's, it's classic gaslighting, right? I said, you are a 70 year old man. And I said, I don't deal with liars. Go away. I'm not a liar, said our lying scammer who had just been busted and was trust me, about 19 years old and in a room full of friends. I've already reported you. I'm not a client who will remit. If I am a liar, I won't call you on video call, he said. I said, only when caught. You didn't call yesterday. Um, and I actually said, when I asked you, and he goes, did I say you're a client? I said, you lied then? Go away. I'm not interested. I hate, hate liars. I wasn't at home yesterday and it was already dark. I didn't lie. So at this point, he's doubling down on his, you know, that, that yes, he lied, but he didn't lie because it's okay because he lied for a good reason, but he didn't lie. I said, you lied about everything. You know, the time zone is different, right? As if that makes any difference to the lie. I said, you pretended to be someone else. That is a lie. You obviously aren't a Christian. Sorry if I lie to you. I know how it feels. Forgive me, he said. I said, you lie. The whole thing was a big lie to get me to remit. Again, it's their, their language. They, they say that they call us clients and they want us to remit 
It's a very big business. They're also uh, very proud of it. No, they don't show remorse. They don't feel it. It's a status thing. Scammers that do very, very well are treated like celebrities. I am a Christian. Well, I'm a Christina, he actually writes. Forgive me, please. I said, your God can forgive you now, not me. Never, I'll never do that. I only wanted to get to know you more better and let's be good friends. I said, really, that's effing rubbish. Goodbye. If God can forgive me, so, uh, so you can too, crying face. I know it sounds somehow in your ear right now, but believe me, you'll never regret knowing me. And hands clasped, hands clasped, pleading, begging, begging. So I obviously restricted him. I've no doubt he's probably going to try and hit me up on chat. I'm not sure if that flashing and beeping you heard was him or the Jimmy Barnes that I'm, I'm baiting at the moment, the one that um, is also in Nigeria and left his location on. So this gentleman who has nothing to lie about very quickly turned off his location as soon as he was caught. But um, hopefully that's the last we hear from him. So that was that was a good one. A lot of love bombing, a lot of gaslighting, a lot of the usual stuff. The only thing he didn't really try to do is get angry and bully too much. Eh, that's okay. So enjoy. Bye.